My film Always Forever follows two teenage girls, Vanessa and Lila, who are best friends and have been best friends for as long as they can remember since elementary school. But as they start to grow up and mature and specifically in high school, they have joined different friend groups, they're interested in different things, and this just causes them to grow apart and strains their friendship. And soon they have a very serious fight where insults are ex exchanged back and forth, and this is what ultimately like ends their friendship. And while Van Vanessa deals with this better than Lila does, and Lila ends up turning to drugs as a coping mechanism for this. And one night while she was swimming alone while intoxicated, she ended up drowning. And Vanessa can't help but blame herself because the only reason Lila's turned to doing drugs was because their friendship had broken up. So in order to cope with the loss of her best friend, Vanessa um, is mentally d in denial and she starts to hallucinate that Lila is still alive. An example of Vanessa's hallucinations of Lila are shown at the beginning of the film where the two of them are having an interaction in the culinary room and this seems to be a fairly nice interaction and it's conveyed to the audience that this is just one of Vanessa's hallucinations through our choice of editing and the lighting we used. So throughout their interaction the lighting in the classroom is very pink showing that like with Lila is where Vanessa feels happiest and along with that Afterwards, when editing it, we turned up the brightness just to make just enough to make it so the audience knew something wasn't right. But when Vanessa went to the guidance counselor's room, um, that's when the lighting became more natural, just to like show the difference so the audience would notice that something was wrong in the last clip. The dialogue in this film proves to be a crucial part of understanding what's happening, as it provides intel to to events that happened prior to what's happening in the film. As, for example, when the guidance counselor pulls Vanessa out of class, she says that she's been assigned to check up on her every, like once a month. And that has the audience wondering why and gets them more involved into the plot. And along with that, the guidance counselor later says that um, Vanessa and Lila had a fight recently, which the audience wouldn't have known otherwise. The production company I have chosen to work with for my film is A24. I chose this company because I can see from their previous works that they're able to follow many principles that my film is heavily based on. A couple of these films include Lady Bird and The Ghost Story. From Lady Bird, it was made clear to me that this company can work with films that follow a coming-of-age genre. The film A Ghost Story shows how well A24 can follow the storyline of losing a loved one and how that can affect one's day-to-day -day life through all stages of grief, both concepts of which are heavily focused in my film. My film will initially be available through a limited theatrical release, then after only a month will be available to stream through Max. Such a short theatrical release is the best choice for the success of my film due to the declining theatrical views coupled with the growing views through online services. The target audience for my film is Generation Z, as seeing a main actor around their age, along with a film having many characteristics of a coming-of-age genre, will cause the younger generation to be naturally attracted to that film more. Throughout the course of the year, I've learned many things about the steps of production and filming that I didn't know before I walked into the course. For example, with our first project, the music video project, I learned that even without dialogue, it's very important to focus on aspects of, for example, mise-en-scene, like the wardrobe of the actress and the setting. And along with that, I learned that how important it is to write down more than you think you're going to do. Like the paper on the right, half of that wasn't used in the final product, but it did give me an idea of what I wanted the final product to look like. Later in the year when filming The Sweeting Project, it showed me how difficult it can be to make a film even without having to come up with the plot or the lines through problems such as cinematography, not knowing where to put the camera, or lighting, the sun being in the way and we have to wait, or problems I didn't even expect to run into such as getting good quality sound because we had to turn the AC off to make sure it didn't get in the way and roll the windows up. These were all just problems I didn't expect to run into and just made me more impressed with the process of filming when re-watching the clip. 
Some problems arose through the creation of our final film opening. For example, we came to a group consensus that the plot wasn't strong enough for somebody without context to understand. So we rewrote the whole script, and then when we went to go refilm with the same actresses, they weren't available, so we had to get a new set of actresses to finish the film. And I still learned things about the production process through that, such as doing things while filming to make it easier for you to edit later. For example, staying silent be right before and after you say your line and not moving, just to make it easier to cut when you're editing. To film the projects throughout this course, an iPhone 11 camera was used, such as the one shown in the top left corner. And with this phone comes the feature of 0.5, which helps zoom out the camera, and that came in handy when filming in tighter spots, such as a car, or when we just wanted to zoom out to show the setting where the characters are, such as it shows on the left before and after the 0.5 feature was used. Other technology that was used for the projects throughout this course to make filming easier include a microphone that plugs into the jack of a phone and then can clip onto the actor or actress's clothes. Along with that, a tripod was used to just make the shots more steady, and you can see it being used on the right. Throughout this course, I decided to stick with iMovie as the editing software for the projects as it proved to be easiest to share progress throughout the group and give feedback.